Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo streaming live to you trying something new. Although it's not really new, it is live for everybody. And in fact, uh, if you have your YouTube notifications turned on, you would have gotten a push notification. Gotten? You would have received for free a push notification. You should enable that on all the channels. And I say that because we have more than one YouTube channel now. Uh, we've had more than one YouTube channel for quite some time. Uh, the Chris Perillo channel has now received, it's gotten new life, it's been reinvigorated, thanks again to your support, I've been doing a lot of videos over the past week or so, specifically in relation to Apple, of course I'll be branching off and doing other topics topics that you would like me to dive into, topics. Have I mentioned this is live, so I can't go back and edit that out? Uh, so, here's the experiment, right? Everyone seems to be having a good time over there with Chris Perillo. I'm still Chris Perillo, but we have this separate channel, with like 30,000 subscribers, uh, that quite honestly, was set up specifically to do long-form tech discussion content, TLDR, way back in the day. So I'm thinking if y'all are interested, uh, we could do that. Again, kind of, you know. Uh, I, I retitled the channel as, as it currently stands, Locker Gnome Tech Geek Nerd Talk. I may put in there, in parentheses, with Chris Perillo, because inevitably people search for me everywhere and uh, never seem to find what they're looking for. Uh, because inevitably I, I want to... Uh, I've used that word twice now. I uh, want to continue to do live video, as I've, I've done in the past. Certainly, you might remember. Uh, but I can't do it too frequently. Uh, if I do it too frequently, I'll flood out a channel. So the best way to do it is to effectively, you know, create a dedicated video, a short, a shorter video. Um, <laughs> although Liz must have tuned in. Why is your channel name so long? <sighs> did, did I mention that I'm not going to answer every question? That's the only question, really that we've received at this point. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I can't just create two videos a day in one channel. Inevitably, that won't work. But if I make one channel dedicated more for the long-form discussion type of content, then we have a chance to kind of branch out beyond, uh, you know, one particular video topic, and, and, and you would set that topic. So that's, that's the high-level overview. I have no idea if it's going to work. Uh, it might. It might not. Some people may be kind of uh, shocked, taken aback, didn't realize they were still subscribed to this channel. You may still be, if you got the notification. We'll see where it goes. Uh, Johnny McLean Vlogs asks, Do you think wireless charging will get faster? I do. It's inevitable. In fact, I think wireless charging will become truly wireless charging. They've already uh, been testing that, uh, where you don't have to have any wires or any cables. Uh, it's just that the devices themselves will pick up uh, the uh, the electrical signal and effectively you know, siphon it from the air, much like a device would pick up a, a wireless internet signal uh, and, uh, and recharge themselves. Uh, I think uh, they've gotten to the point where they gotten they've come to the point gotten is the word of the day uh they've come to the point where i think they can do like a char they can charge up a tv without it being plugged in like a full uh hd tv big tv big screen tv i believe they've gotten that far they've come that far <laughs> uh i i don't know i haven't i haven't honestly investigated but uh you know too deeply beyond you know what i've seen uh, my feeling is inevitably the uh, 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 the inductive charging that we have today, thanks in large part to cases and or device integration with that technology, is not true wireless charging. I think that's where I kind of get, uh, that's where I get upset with words. Because I think it's, it, people play with those words. I think wireless internet, yes, has to be plugged in somewhere, typically. But in terms of your interactivity or, or need to go to that cable or that area of the cable in order to use the, the, the wireless internet is, is typically not the case unlike inductive charging where you actually have to place it on a plate. It will get to the point where it will be truly, uh, 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 truly wireless. Uh, and uh, we will get there sooner or later. I actually got this shirt. Liz, thank you for asking. Super Chat's enabled too. Not that we have like a ton of people. Uh, I should probably tease this on Twitter, huh? So too late now. Uh, I got this shirt last night. Uh, I saw it and they had like a large and I needed a medium. And it's perfect because Jedi is still learning the alphabet and I wanted her to, to associate certain letter shapes with the words. And so, yes, it is Zuckus, even though I grew up with uh, Zuckus being Forlom. That is Zuckus. It may be a little difficult to see specifically at that zoom angle. Unfortunately, I'm capped at streaming at 720p. Uh, but uh, we have an Asajj Ventress. Uh, where is she? A v. She's a V. Where's, it's hard to see where V is. V is right there. Asajj Ventress right there, which is kind of nice. IG-88. D for Darth, E for Emperor, Palpatine, J for Jabba, with a bonus salacious crumb. 
yeah, it's got the whole alphabet. I really like I, I, I like the design. I was really, really happy about that. Uh, when I found it. Even happier when I found the uh, uh the uh, this one. Like the the size that I needed to wear. But the uh, uh uh, the other thing that I, I, I got today, Walgreens has got the exclusive of the Obi-Wan Spirit of Obi-Wan uh, Black Series figure, which the box would look like this, only it's blue instead of red with highlights. The problem is, uh, when I found it, I got I got one, but it, it, they'd sliced through the box, which really upset me. So if you live near a Walgreens and you find that Spirit of Obi-Wan figure, the 6-inch figure, let me know. I, I'm looking for a pristine box of that right now. Uh, Tennis123 asks, what do you think about NFC now that the iPhone got it? Uh, do we get NFC... Got. Got word? Uh, do we get NFC tags everywhere on wine, cheese, post, etc.? Uh, well, first of all, cheese has got this component called casein, and it's as addictive as drugs. Or wine, potentially. Um, that's something you didn't know. Probably didn't know. Maybe you, Maybe you did know that. Secondly, uh, sure, maybe. Uh, I guess I, I've never really seen uh, an insane need to use NFC tags, but I think that's kind of how technology works. You know, some company pushes the ball forward and suddenly it's it's everywhere, kind of like uh, uh, terminal payments, like with Apple Pay and or Android Pay. Yeah, their NFC was around before we had an NFC-enabled app. Uh, Apple Pay, uh, but it, it wasn't as prevalent until Apple came along and made it more popular. It doesn't mean that Apple had to be the first. That's not typically Apple's game. Typically. They, they're usually not the first with something as much as they are uh, the first with the best implementation. At least that is the way it used to be. Not so much anymore. Uh, but uh, I, I think we, we will see a, a fair amount of NFC tags uh, out there without even knowing they're NFC tags. They're not going to be known as NFC tags. They're just going to be you know, like uh, signs and or items, objects, and it's going to say something like, tap your phone here to unlock a special widget. Uh, kind of like uh, uh, the, uh, the gimmicky nature of AR, augmented reality, which I've always been a fan of. In fact, I, I think the first video I did on that in the Chris Perillo YouTube channel, the other one, was, uh, let's see here, it was... 2009. That video still exists. You can probably find it and link it. Someone can link it in the uh, the comments there. So uh, yeah, the uh, uh, the hope would be that these things become more prevalent in, in terms of how they integrate with society, how we work with technology out there, uh, rather than just smacking people in the face as technology very frequently does. Uh, we'll see. We'll we'll see. I, I am uh, I am hoping that uh, it will uh, uh, effectively make th what these pocket computers are more useful. Uh, because we'll just assume that it's there. Like we do assume uh, wireless internet. We assume that we can get online everywhere. We assume that. It wasn't always the case. I think the same thing could happen with NFC if there is some value in using it uh, within a product uh, or a service. Just like AR, if there's a value in using it in a product or a service, I think it'll be there. Beyond that, it's it's potentially relegated to being a gimmick. I'm not saying NFC itself is a gimmick. I'm saying in terms of how it's used. And if it becomes useful, it becomes valuable, uh, then I, that's where I get really interested in the, in the uh, technology. John Key 2 says, would you give up wireless charging for a bigger battery, assuming the form factor stays the same? Uh, yeah, I probably would. Uh, you know, I, I've had wireless charging on my iPhone for the past year. I've talked about this Mophie uh, case solution, uh, and I'm, I'm happy with it. The, uh, uh, the hope would be that you wouldn't have to have a trade-off. I, I think inevitably what we'll see is smaller batteries as wireless charging becomes more and more uh, 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 prevalent. Uh, per pervasive. It will get there. It, it's it's not it's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. And I would never have even imagined wireless internet would even be uh, you know possible. The speeds that we're seeing today. Uh, but electricity is going to happen the same way. So you don't necessarily need to have a a, a big battery if if you've got the ability to always stay fully charged. Hell, you don't even need a battery at that point. Not saying that. You know, we're 10 years away from that. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I, I think I would uh, I'd choose a bigger battery over wireless charging right now. But it, it, there's a delta at which you know, that, that point where uh, inevitably you don't need a bigger battery. Um, and hopefully we're just a, a few years away from that. Oh, thank you, Liz. Liz did the super chat thing. You go you super chat. It's a thing. It's kind of like you, you if you want me to see your comment, it stands out like big time. Uh, Liz asks, oh, she didn't even ask a question. Well, that was a waste of a super chat. Hey, it's your super chat. It's your choice. 
I'm about to take the train. Have a good one. How does it show up for everybody else? Because I see it on my end, it shows up like colorful and beautiful. Every other comment just kind of blends into the background. I'm not sure how. Uh, I'm not sure how I see everything else. Yeah, I don't. I don't even see chat. I pulled up uh, the app on my iPad. I'm watching myself on my iPad. That's a little weird. I can't see chat as easily though. Odd. Uh, ass Aka Aka Smab. <laughs> Aka, your username's got at that locker room was odd. Do you think that uh, I, if that's your real name, I'm not making fun of it because you know my name is funny myself. Uh, do you think that Windows 10 Pro worth upgrading? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know what kind of user you are. I, I honestly, tell you, I'm gonna be honest. I'm just flat out honest, and I realize I'm probably like the the the, the lone wolf here. Uh, I believe that the uh, 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 not Windows 10, uh, Windows 10 S. That's the, the basic one. I think it's fine. I don't know. I, I don't really use Windows all that often. I, there's nothing that I need Windows to do that I can't do any other way, including like on a mobile device. Like my, my primary platform is, you know, the phone, the, the, the pocket computer that I have on me, the PC. And I know that upsets uh, a few people, but I'm still going to say it. This is, this is every bit of pocket computer. Is it worth upgrading? Couldn't tell you. It, it, now, if you're asking if you're old, uh, upgrading from an older version of Windows, like 8 to 10, yeah, I'd say 10's worth it. Like, you know, I know Jerry Berg, Barnacle's Nerdgasm, has has it out for Microsoft with the way they, they handle their um, their data mining. Uh, and that's probably a deeper topic that we could uh, dive into as well. Uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know... There's, there's always going to be a trade-off. And, and with Microsoft, that is a, it's a pretty big trade-off. But for the average user, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the uh, what the uh, the drawbacks are in, in relation to the benefits of, of how they, uh, they handle telemetry now in Windows 10. But, you know, honestly, I, I keep saying that, but it's true. I, Windows S, I think, would do me just fine. Especially if it saved me some money and I could do everything I need to do and it's, the, the system's just as responsive. Um... Hey, Tony! Tony, Is that Tony Yoon there? Uh, do you think Apple's hybrid chips? Tony's been a, a patron on Chris Perillo forever. I, I'm pretty sure I know that username by heart. Uh, do you think Apple's hybrid chips are now are just not optimized for the sake of battery saving, which causes the transition from low-power cores to high-performance cores to lag? You know, I feel that, but you, this, this, is where, this is where it gets weird, right? Like, we get faster and faster chips, but I feel that the, uh, uh, the point at which iOS performance peaked was specifically the 6S. That was that was peak iOS performance um, in relation to speed uh, and the responsiveness of the operating system on the, on the actual hardware. For, from that point forward, with the 7 and the 7 Plus, there wasn't that much of a difference. And with the 8 and the 8 Plus, I see small differences, uh, largely due to, to, to software uh, nightmares, uh, which, again, can be fixed in software, whether or not they will be. It's beyond anybody's understanding. Um, but I, 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 I think it's just, it comes down to the software and I don't know if it's, if, if it's due to battery saving and it may very well be at which point I would say, well, then you need to do a better job with engineering. Google's done it with Android. They've done a fantastic job with continuously operating or, uh, you know, uh, iterating, uh, Android to the point where older devices don't become less useful when they do get updates to be fair. Uh, but even Microsoft, uh, you know, going between, uh, you know, a, a, like a Windows uh, Vista, let's say, uh, and Windows 8, I think, was a pretty big jump in performance. I mean, they really, and even with Windows 10, I believe they've gone even farther with that. So there's no doubt in my mind that it can be done. Uh, to say battery life, certainly, until I think it's just they just get lazy. I think they don't need to improve it. People are going to buy iPhones anyway. That's just the, that's how I feel. Win dang! ARA, win. Uh, win uh, has also been a supporter of mine for some time. He just did a super chat. Thank you for that. Uh, hey, Chris, what do you think about iPhone 10? Are you going to get one, keep up with the live stream? Hope this helps out. Oh, thank you. Uh, win, any any support you, you offer does help. Um, you know, it's funny. I... I, people, there's a conspiracy, but I, I will I will tell you this. Tomorrow's video, it's going to have a clickbaity title, I will warn you. But this is something that, I don't know if you're going to be able to see outright. Well, maybe you can. If I reflect it just right in the corner there, you may be able to see, you may not be. It seems that uh, my iPhone 8 Plus shipped from the uh, the uh, the factory uh, without uh, a full oleophobic uh, coating like it, it looks like it didn't apply or it missed this bottom corner so i'm gonna have to get it replaced so tomorrow's title in the chris perillo youtube channel is going to be uh i returned my iphone 8 plus comma but dot 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 
I'm going to return it, but I am going to exchange it. Uh, I don't believe I'm going to be, uh, 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 you know, uh, doing anything on the iPhone 10 launch, although I know that day, if I can, uh, I will get into a store to take a look up close. Um, I will. Uh, and to give my first impressions. It, it's it's basically going to be that, like my iPhone 10 first impressions, and that'll be on launch day, assuming I can actually find one to hold on to in an Apple store. Not to buy one, though. I have uh, no want, need, or desire for one. And, and I don't feel I need one. In fact, uh, this is great. I love the fact that everybody has been following across social, uh, the various channels, and you're interacting. This is awesome. Uh, but the, uh, uh, the thing I wanted to point out was uh, Dennis Brecky, or Breck? Not sure how to how to say his name. He's been posting some amazing iPhone 10 fixes. I've been retweeting it. It's great. Uh, he says this is what they sh what Apple should do, and he gives like UX suggestions, like a, a volume control down here. It's a cleaner video image, but it also obscures the 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 nipple over there that they have protruding into the rectangular screen. Uh, it says Empire Strikes Back screenshot deliberately used to draw Chris Perillo's attention. He didn't need to do that, but it's great. Uh, he's offering, uh, you know, just very reasonable suggestions for like swipe into different different types of swipe indicators. Um, like he's he, he if he's not a UX person, I'd be shocked. But he's like nailed it. Uh, he did one earlier. Uh, where can I? Where is it? Y'all keep tweeting me, which is great. But now I can't find the darn thing. Anyway, he's been offering suggestions for the ten outright, and you know, I I I, I don't have any plans to get one because it's. I don't need to know that what Apple's doing is just not for me. And I think that's kind of what it boils down to. It's just not for me. Um, it's interesting everybody's asking about the, the iPhone 10. It doesn't surprise me. Uh, would you consider the iPhone 10 have actually had ProMotion? Oh, hang on just a second. Uh, uh, or if the majority of jank and frame drops were non-existent, would that be enough to forgive the notch? And yes, Chris, it is me. Yeah, Tony, it is you. Um... ProMotion, dude, I'll be honest. If it, oh, that'd be so hard. Because I know it's not going to mitigate the jank. I know it's going to run just as well as the iPhone 8, if not worse, slightly worse, because of the resolution. I don't care what the screen looks like if you got to deal with slop. ProMotion is, is nice, but it still doesn't, I mean, my iPad, I still feel, honestly, I'm not even joking. I'm interested in, in checking out uh, the uh, the Chromebook Pixel. Or the Pixel Book, I guess, is what they're calling it. And 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 seriously, taking a look at it because I don't use my iPad for for that much. Maybe typing, maybe browsing, and I could do that on anything. And honestly, the software on the I iPad Pro is is upsetting me. I mean, they've made incremental improvements, but not dramatically in incremental, amazing imp improvements. Even with ProMotion, it doesn't mitigate the jank. So uh, I'm I'm going to be looking forward to that. I I am um, looking for a way to basically score the uh, the i uh, the uh, the Pixel. XL2, Pixel 2 XL, uh, and then the uh, uh, the Pixel Book. I'm hoping to find a sponsor. I, I really am uh, to, to be able to offset those costs. Oh, John Key 2 just did a super chat. 10 euro. Thank you. Been following you for 10 years. That's a long time. Uh, if not more, and I'm super crazy happy to see you back in the tech talking business. Would love it if you did the Will EU later at the end of the show. All right, John Key, you got it. You made the request. You did the super chat. You win. I uh, you you, ha you you may have to people may have to remind me as we uh, uh, wind down with it. I guess I've been babbling for how long now? I can't tell. It says live. I don't know how long I've been going. Uh, Chris, do you think? And this is another super chat. Uh, Narba and Miss Misanian, M M Minasian, Narbe Minasian asks, Chris. Do you think the iPhone 10 will be slower and more laggy than the iPhone 8 due to similar specs, but the X having to put 10 having to push more pixels? Absolutely. So this is the thing. Not only will you have to put up with uh, the same jank that iOS throws at you, but now you have to put up with the notch, the notch, the nipples, the ears uh, that don't look well, you know, at any uh, at any at any angle that you can't fully mitigate. And I think it will. I, I think it will potentially be more uh, detrimental to the general user experience because of that. I really do. And if you, even if you're someone who, let's say, adhere to the uh, the Geekbench benchmarks, and I, I haven't necessarily, you know, been, you know, all that interested in following Geekbench stuff. But the uh, 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 what it, what I pointed out in a, a video earlier this week on the classic Chris Perillo channel was that you're not. I think this is the iPhone eight versus ten 
video. Like, what? Are, which one's better? And I pointed out that it, it's going to run slower, more slowly, just by just by a hair. I don't know if that's going to make it that much worse, but you're definitely not getting the fastest phone. It remains to be seen how well the display stands up. I mean, I'm sure it's awesome. Uh, you know, in, in what it is, although some have argued that it's an older Samsung screen with OLED uh, technology. Um, will that be enough to drive some people to it? Possibly, but that's not a value to me, man. I guess, to me, Retina's been fine. I, I've seen higher density packed screens, higher pixel pack screens, and I can't see the difference. So I think it, I know it will be slower demonstrably by the Geekbench benchmarks that we've seen, synthetic benchmarks that have provided a good guideline. But I don't know if it's going to be more laggy necessarily than the iPhone 8. I think if you want the best iPhone 8 slash 8 plus slash 10 experience, it may, in terms of a performance wise, it's the 8, fewer pixels. Um, can that get tweaked? Can they get changed? Sure, but we sat around and waited for them to do that with the 6S and the 6S. S plus and the seven or the seven and the seven plus and it never happened so i, I really think that uh, it's going to be a substandard general ex overarching experience with bells and whistles and, and that to me encapsulates my perspective on uh, on the 10 I, I, that's why i can i can just i can i can look at it from afar and say i don't want that i can look at like a lot of android devices and say i don't even want to try it like it's just it's it's not for me now, I will be interested, possibly, in taking a look at the Essential. Not because they have that cutout for the camera, but specifically in terms of how they accommodated it, specifically in landscape mode that Apple refuses to do. So I really want to I really want to take a, a, a deeper, a deep, substantially deeper look at that. By the way, I don't know if you noticed this from yesterday, or today's video. Did y'all notice today's video thumbnail from uh, Chris Perillo channel? I don't know if you noticed, so I'm like, okay, ignore my extreme whiteness. I can't exactly get white balance perfect in here. Uh, with uh, the, this live stream camera, uh, but there's a notch in the thumbnail. I'm I'm doing a disgusted look at the. There's a notch. Did you notice the notch in the thumbnail over there? Is that great? Is it funny? <laughs> I'm sure no one noticed the thumbnail, and I spent so so many hours working on it. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna see if I can find the the time on. No, I can't. This this client is not that great. I was looking for the, 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 the amount of time that I'd been streaming specifically on the software, but it wasn't showing me. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Mr. Fluga Fluga says, Have you thought about doing something similar to the old Chris Perl live stream that, you, that we're always on? This is the closest it's going to get. I think if I do anything, and if there is an interest, I would do a daily live stream like this for sure. Um, you know, asking or answering your questions, but doing it 24 seven, it's, it's not going to happen anymore. Uh, a life just gets too busy. B I've got privacy issues to, to be concerned about. Uh, and C, I think I would run out of things to talk about uh, as I very well did, or, you know, like doing the live stream. It was fun for the time being. Uh, we've got a, uh, we got Windang also came in with another, uh, a super chat says last tip today. No, no worries, dude. Uh, why do people download the new iOS 11 on the older device and complain why their computer or device is slow? Dude, you got me. But I tell you what, this is a warning. This is a warning for everybody. If you have not yet downloaded High Sierra to your Mac, and I'll get to other questions here, don't worry. Uh, the uh, uh, I gotta warn you because um, Snazzy Q, you know Quinn. Uh, that's how I remember. I remember his name, Quinn Nelson. Uh, he tweeted something yesterday showing an, a major issue he was having, but he's not alone. The Ars Technica review of High Sierra even warned people that the uh, Metal 2 implementation of, on Windows Server was a basic was basically potentially, especially if you're running uh, on an NVIDIA uh, a chipset uh, for the video card on your Mac or MacBook, you may end up having issues uh, that are nasty. This is this is true. This was not only Aaron. Sorry, let me try to adjust the bright. Let me try to adjust the brightness on that a little bit. Here we go. See if that works. So effectively, uh, and I retweeted it, warning people, your finder could just glitch out. And the Ars Technica review of High Sierra mentioned that as well. So, you know, why do people download the iOS 11 on their older device and complain? You know, it's it's part to get unlock new features. It, it's part because everybody else is doing it. It's part because, well, it's a perfunctory update. And, and generally speaking, it hasn't been an issue in the past for the most part. I believe it has been an issue. Which is a huge problem, huge problem, gigantic problem, uh, you know, for, for people to have, uh, you know, not knowing if they should update. So I didn't even update to High Sierra on my, uh, on my notebook, on my, my laptop. Um, I did on my desktop, not on the, uh, uh, not on my notebook. 
because uh, I was like, I have an NVIDIA chipset for the video card on the on the notebook. I'm like, I don't want to... I'll, I'll wait for a point release. Like, a, a what is it? What are they up to? 10, 10 13? Is that High Sierra? I lost count. Uh, I, I lost count. Uh, glad you're doing more tech videos for us, says Iceman231. Does anyone know how to do a super chat on an iPad? Can you do a super chat on an iPad? You may not be able to. I can't even see chat on the iPad, though. Like, at all. Like, I'm... I'm I, maybe, can you... Can you see it? I can't see it in the app on the iPad. So you, I assume they haven't updated it. You may have to do it directly from uh, from the web. Uh, Thread Lamont. Hey, Thread. Uh, says, I know you recommend Eli Shift. Uh, Schiff. I mentioned his name is Shift now twice. Eli Schiff is a great person with attention to detail. But what are other most influential critics you would recommend following regarding UI UX? You know, they're, they're, they are out there. I, I don't know if I found anybody as vocal about it is Eli. I mean, Eli just, I mean, he, he knows his stuff. I mean, I can look at something and just kind of have this visceral reaction and go, ew. But Eli can, like, really, 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 like, hammer at home as to why it's a bad idea. In fact, one hope if, if the idea for this live stream daily with y'all pans out in terms of an ask me anything i would like to bring in guests possibly doing a, a hangout obviously the, the angle would be slightly different but eli would be one of those people i'd like to bring in to talk about this kind of stuff so again to recap what i had mentioned at the, the top of, of the hour um the uh, uh, uh the hope is i can continue to do the shorter videos in the classic chris perillo channel but then longer uh deeper dives amas uh, with y'all every day in, in this channel. So that way you kind of get two videos a day without getting flooded out by uh, by one channel. So keep watching um, uh, both channels, effectively. Um, so there's there's plenty of Chris Perillo to see. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, it's hard to kind of get everything to stand out. Uh, Tony Yoon also asks, considering you only use basic tasks on your phone, why well, do advanced tasks, too? And don't do any heavy gaming. Were you ever angry enough to say, screw it, and find an iPhone 5 or 5S and use iOS 6 instead? No, but I retweeted another video last night, which was fantastic, which basically demonstrated the latest version of iOS side-by-side, -side, or I think it was iOS 10 at the time, side-by-side -side with the, an iPhone 4S with the I iOS 6. And iOS 6 ran better. So it wasn't like Chris is just feeling nostalgic for iOS 6. iOS 6 was just demonstrably performative, performatively, if I can say that, better fantastically better so it's it's just uh it, it blows my mind rumble force 2 thank you for the super chat if you do have a question uh i'd be happy to answer it it says samsung is charging apple 125 dollars for their oleds not cheap no it's not and i keep saying oled and i guess oled is how i'm supposed to say it um the uh the the, the you know i like i like the screens that i've seen in the past like OLED screens, uh, I think, yeah, we have an OLED TV in the in the bedroom, the the 4K one. Um, it's nice, it, it, no doubt about it. Like they they say that the, the inks are, or the the blacks are inky. See, it's so funny if you watch just like two tech videos, the terminology they use are the same. I, I don't know what the blacks are. They're very vadery. If I say if I ever say oh the blacks on an OLED screen are so inky, just you know reach across the screen and go. Do, you know, do, what? The the blacks are very vadery. OLED blacks are vadery. I'll be the only person to say vadery. And then if someone else does it, then you know where they got it from. <laughs> oh, man, that's too funny. Uh, now, we have a user by the name of Darth Vader. Speaking of, do you like the new canon to the Star Wars universe after Return of the Jedi? Yeah, I do. I'm a fan of canon. I've gone off on this. Like, uh, you know, I, I didn't mind Legends or as it was known, the EU, the Expanded Universe, but I never got caught up in it either. I was never heavily invested in it, as some people are. Um, but, you know, to keep my stories straight, and characters, and places, and names, and backgrounds, I I, I kind of have to mentally turn off. I have to shut off non-canon, um, uh, you know, any kind of, any kind of non-canon uh, 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 content. Um, you know, and I'm fine with doing that. Some people aren't. I'm very happy that in, in certain cases, uh, you know, non-canonical characters like Thrawn get brought into canon. I think this was an, an amazing move uh, to bring Thrawn in specifically to Rebels and, of course, to have a nice, a better Thrawn figure than the first one we got uh, eons ago. Uh, Brick Princess, thank you for the super chat. Uh, no question, just supporting. Brick Pen Princess has also been around and a supporter uh, for quite some time. And it's obviously, she's still doing it. 
and obviously, even more obviously, a fan of the brick, uh, which, of course, I am. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how to say the first name. It's J-O-A with a tilde over it. O? How do you pronounce that name? Uh, Carvalho asks, Hello, Chris. I'm a recent subscriber. I love the way you speak the truth about what you really believe. Great job. I'll stick around for long for a long time, I assume, for sure. I'm a Portuguese YouTuber. Best regards. Yes, best regards, indeed. And I'm glad you're going to stick around. Uh, I'm catching a lot of people uh, for the first time outright. Uh, and th that's nice. It's nice to see some, not just new blood and old blood mixed together. There's a lot of blood going on around here. But, uh, you know, specifically to to do it around a, a touch point that I get I get fired up about, you know. And I just, I'm tired of, like, honestly, I'm just tired of every damn tech video I see, just, they, they all sound the same, they all look the same, and they all say the same things. I want to elevate the conversation. That's one of the reasons why, I, you know, I'm sticking, you know, I'm, I'm hitting Apple right now, but, you know, I'll move on. I'm not ready to move on. There's, there are other topics I want to talk about. Yeah, it's, it's something that I care about, right? So, you know, I, 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 I don't just want to talk about this i want to talk about what it means and some deeper deeper issues let's elevate that conversation let's 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 you know have a have a have a, have a, a more extensive conversation around these things because otherwise it's just going to get boring to me it's just i'll, I'll fall asleep talking about it um speaking of we had a, i had a comment in today's uh, video chris perillo uh i think what was it titled iphone 8 or iphone 10 buy upgrade or not i think is what the title was uh Keith Brewer said I should get back on Linus Tech Tips. I'll drop him a line. Um, he says, as Chris is saying here, our Bassett replied, we need to have a greater dialogue regarding the place technology has in our lives rather than the details of the devices themselves. Uh, the other folks, bless their hearts, don't often delve into that side of technology. I think maybe maybe with a few exemptions. You know, it, it, it dovetails into ultimately it's what we do with products that's interesting. Let's talk more about that. And that's, that's where I want the conversation to be. Everything else is just kind of Eh. Um, let's see here. What else do we have? Narbe uh, says, I'm one of those who uh, sent you those iOS 11 iPad videos on Twitter a couple days ago. I was so disgusted I found a manual way to downgrade back to iOS 10. Those types of issues are inexcusable. I guess they stopped signing iOS 10 today, though. That's what I caught. So you may not be on it for, for too much longer. Uh Tony asks, uh, if you ha and I see other questions here, but there are a few coming in. Uh, the tech, I'm sorry. If you had to jump ship and change your entire ecosystem, which company is the most likely candidate? LG, Samsung, Sony, others. I don't know. Google, I'm a purist. I, you know, I know everyone chases features and hardware, but man, I'm a software purist. And that's the thing, man. I, I, I understand what, why people make the decisions they make, but man, I just, I, I see a lot of features, and I want to try them. I want to see how they work. I want to see how, they, how, how well they, they do. But this is why I look longingly at the Pixel. Although, on 9to5 Google, if you notice today, they posted a you know a rumor that may have confirmed the a Pixel Launcher update. And I don't like the way that new Pixel Launcher looks. Like, the search bars at the bottom, it just seems like it's a lot of wasted space. And it's like, it doesn't seem to be as elegant as the first one. But you could always use Nova Launcher, which I may likely do, if I don't like the, the new Pixel Launcher. Or I would assume, since it's Pixel, I would be able to download the, the, the classic Google Pixel Launcher of last year on the new Pixel. I would just assume that. I would hope for that. Because I like the, the look of the, the, the last year's Pixel uh, Launcher. The new one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Sam Sneed asks, do you think Steve Jobs would have continued to allow the word phone and iPhone for so long? I think so because of branding. I, I, I think it still functions largely as a phone. I don't think there's a need to change it outright categorically. I just know that we accommodate it uh, differently as, uh, as, as users for sure. Um, sorry, uh, Diana's sending me uh, pictures of Jedi. They're playing in the park. Yay. Uh, let's see here. Some questions that people are asking, uh, I've recently a answered in the uh, the Chris Perillo uh, YouTube channel, so I'd, I'd hesitate to to keep re-answering the same questions over and over again. And I also should have noted the time that I started the broadcast. <laughs> and there's no way of telling either. I'm looking all around the screen, and it doesn't nowhere. 
I can't believe nowhere it says... There's got to be. Hang on. Let me look here. Maybe on the console. Uh, oh, only 34 minutes. Okay, cool. I'll go for an hour. What do you think? I'll go for an hour. That sounds good. Because y'all are you're asking some, some, some good questions as, as we can't keep rolling. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, Ralph Helm. Hey, Ralph. What's going on? Haven't seen you in a, a, a while. I think of you with every new pop I pick up. Hope you're doing well. The only thing for me that's making me happy about the 8 Plus is the camera and camera software. Wow, gorgeous frames. Yeah, you know, uh, I did my best to dive pretty deeply into that with the video. It ended up being, what, 47 minutes long uh, two days ago now? I think it'll do well over time. Initially, I'm not sure. But uh, it seemed to be very well received the way I did the camera comparison. Uh, although I did not mention the name of the software in that video because I, I don't want to, I don't want people to get so tripped up on the software I use. I'd rather people just get tripped up on what I'm talking about. But since you uh, since you're talking about that, it's called before after before slash after. And what you do is you, you stack your your photos in a deck. Oh God, look at the oh jitter 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 frame drop jitter frame drop jitter frame. See if I if I stop using the iPad Pro, I'll have to find an equivalent on Android or the Chromebook, the uh, uh, Pixelbook. Because I'm serious. I just got to find a... I, I think I got I to line up a sponsor. But here's here's what you do. You load them up side by side. Not exactly intuitive. In fact, if you add a new one, the problem is everything goes back into to, to portrait mode orientation. It's kind of broken that way. But what's cool is that you can, uh, you can just load up... Oh, press the play button. There's the play button in the corner. And then you can swipe back and forth, and you can get the differences or swipe over. So this is effectively what I was doing as I was narrating here from my desk. Uh, so if you want a, a decent iPad so uh, software, before slash after is the name of it. And it's not, it's not, it is free. No ads or anything. And I was like, dang, dude, it'll work. Not perfect. I would definitely offer some su suggestions, but yeah, it was pretty neat. Um, let's see here. So I'm getting a few questions about Tim Cook. Uh... Louis Patino says, Tim Cook is the problem. Get him out. Don't you agree, Chris? Uh, Rumble Force 2 says, we need to fire Tim. So, okay. And you guys aren't the only ones who are talking about this today. I got to be careful because I don't know the full story. I don't think anybody knows the full story. One. Two. I think Tim is doing an amazing job for what he's doing. I think he's, for the pipeline and, and the manufacturing process, I think he is, he's got it down. Man, I, I think he's, he's just nailed the, the, he's nailed logistics. No doubt in my mind, he has done just that. The problem is, I think, if it was Steve's intent to leave him CEO, it was to make sure things could happen, or that he would keep the right people in place as a CEO. The problem is, is that Tim took the more peaceful approach, and I'm not the only person to point this out, in, in basically letting go of Forstall, who is pro probably the closest thing to, to a Steve Jobs protege. So it's not that Tim needs to go. Is that Tim needs to recognize, I wish Tim would recognize, I'm not going to tell him what to do, I wish he would recognize the value of having conflict, and, and if he doesn't want to bring in a Forstall again, uh, he needs to bring someone else in, because the way it's happening right now ain't working, uh, at all, for, for all the reasons that you can, you can clearly see. Uh, you know, Johnny Ive is great with industrial design, with hardware, but what is he doing messing with software, man? What? What? It's it's to me it's it's de designed by committee, so it's not that Tim needs to go. It's just that I wish Tim would make different decisions for the company because I think he's done an amazing job. Uh, I would never ask for you know him to step aside. I, I don't think uh, Apple is necessarily you know failing, perceivably, but the things that they are doing are failures. Uh, I don't think anybody could debate that, and and I'm just tired of giving them a rope. You know, people want me to cut them some slack. Oh, they'll fix it in software. Dude, that was that was great, like, five years ago. But here we are five years later, and they're still caught. We're mired in this process. This is just gonna, we're just going to get beat up every year. And we're not even... I'm not even talking about the price of the new iPhone. Not even close to talking about the price of the new iPhone. I'm talking specifically about the decisions that they're making. So I, I don't... I, A, I don't want to slay... I'm not going to slander anybody. Certainly not Tim Cook, who... He's done a better job than I think most would have. It's just I think he's made some really questionable decisions in terms of how this company needs to evolve from a design perspective. It has forgotten where it came from. It has forgotten what made Apple good again when Steve Jobs came back. Because he ain't coming back again. Um, but that's, that's you know, I, I, maybe I'll dive deeper into that um, in, in, a, in a future video uh, again. Uh, but it's something that, that, that I do want to talk about at length. 
uh, in the in the Chris Perillo channel. So maybe maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll expect me to talk more about that as I kind of gather my thoughts around it and then do a 20 minute video or so, 10 minute maybe around that. Sam says, "Hey Chris, there's a Star Trek parody on Fox and a new Star Trek series on CBS. What do you why do you think there's no Star Wars series?" Well, first, yes, I know of the Orville. I've been watching. I've tweeted about it a couple times. Uh, second, yeah, I know about the new Trek series on CBS, but I'm not going to pay to watch it. Uh, and then third, I tweeted this. Uh, you can actually, I think some people can watch the new Star Trek in Klingon subtitles. I don't know if you caught that. That's kind of neat. Uh, why, why do you think there's no Star Wars series? So, a few different reasons. One, cost. Two, planning. Uh, 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 three, I think if we do see a new Star Wars series, it could very well happen when Disney launches its streaming service next year. I think at the end of next year is when they're saying, or the end of 2019? Or 2018? I can't remember which one, uh, but Disney is effectively going to pull its library, its streaming library, away from Netflix and all these streaming services and basically make their own streaming service, which I'm fine with. I'm okay with that. Um, I, I don't know how much it's going to cost. I don't know if I'm going to get nickel and dimed, but I believe that if there was to be a Star Wars you know, piece of long-form content, I believe they'd put it in their streaming service because if there is one way of driving subscriptions, that would be the way to do it. I like Star Trek. I'm not going to pay any more for it, uh, but Star Wars, sign me up. <laughs> okay, uh, you know, for ten dollars a month, uh, you know, I can, I uh, certainly uh, consider adding that. And especially as Jedi gets older, uh, you know, we're going to be watching more of that type of content. So it just, it just uh, kind of fits in. So uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so Adam Smith, oh my God, he's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, y'all didn't see the videos I did about veganism. Um, not beating you over the head with it. Uh, Tony Yoon says, why are you not drinking coffee after becoming vegan? Uh, that was another question that came in. So, first of all, I've pretty much met my weight goal of lo losing, like, 28, 28 pounds? No. Not quite. 25 pounds, maybe? 20, 25-ish pounds? Uh, I, I've been as low as 133. I'm, I'm bouncing in there right now. Maybe have a few more fat pounds to lose, but, you know, that'll happen over time. I stopped drinking coffee primarily of arterial uh, uh, p potential uh, problems, atherosclerosis. So I, I like tea. I, I've always liked tea. It's not as good as coffee in my estimation. Moreover, um, I can get the benefits of caffeine from a caffeinated tea without the drawbacks of uh, of what coffee might bring. Uh, you know, and that's not to say coffee is bad for you or it's good for you. It's just that the way I enjoyed coffee was with heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. And after realizing what that was doing to me, I was like, oh. Okay, no more. Uh, you know, honestly, I, I, I miss coffee. I do. Uh, I miss the flavor of it with the heavy cream. But uh, you know, we'll we'll see. The uh, you know, we'll see. I'll, I'll probably have every so often. I'll probably have like a shot of espresso. But you know, daily, mm, not not so much. Not not right now. Not again. So part of effectively switching to a whole food, plant based lifestyle. If you don't want to say the word vegan, if that scares you. Um, it, it's a healthier choice. So I, I base, my diet effectively consists of a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. Not to be confused with whole foods. Seriously, if you want to talk about nerdy, geeky stuff, I mean, a whole food, plant-based lifestyle is like, it's all science, man. That's the, 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 the most science-y like, lifestyle out there. Uh, Thread Lamont says, do you read Daring Fireball and listen to the talk show? I do listen to the talk show every so often, and I definitely read Daring Fireball. Uh, I've, I've said this about John several times over. In fact, I think I mentioned him in one of the videos last week on the, the Chris Perillo uh, uh, name, or channel. Sorry, I read someone saying username, and then I said it out loud. That happens sometimes when you're listening and talking and reading simultaneously. Um, Louis Patino said, would you feel bad about buying a product and returning it after you make a review for it? <laughs> yeah, I, I do, I would. I know some people have, but it's not, it's not in my character. I don't, uh, that's a little disingenuous. I'd rather find a sponsor that's not connected to the smartphone industry outright to be able to help me get the devices so that I can I feel I can be more honest about them. You know, rather than saying, well, company X gave me this and here's what I think. Because otherwise you lose a potential a angle of objectivity. So, uh, oh, my daughter just went vegan, says uh, El Erland Edward H H Hansen H Hogvar. I apologize. That's a long name if I tripped over any of them. Uh, got any advice for her? Yes, actually, go.tagjag.com slash vegan blogs. I did a series of like four or five videos talking about my progression through the first month or two, uh, which is now about, I'm three months in. It's been great. It's, it's, it's been great. Although I, I have learned that I have, not that you asked, 
I think I have IBS. And so the way I've gotten over IBS, because I've tried a variety of things, it's capsaicin uh, in like hot pepper. So I basically have salsa every day, hot salsa. And it's, it's helped an immense deal for me to get over my IBS. Big time. Um, we do have a new, a new super chat. Christopher Drawn, uh, who's got an avatar. Oh, I, I th it looked like Zeb Aurelius from Rebels there for a second. Not Zeb, but thank you, uh, Christopher Drawn. If you have a question that I might be able to, to answer uh, for the super chat, you just let me know. John Key 2 says, if someone had asked you 10 years ago what smartphones in 2017 are capable of, what would you have said and how accurate would it have been and what do you see in the pipeline for the next 10? First of all, oh. You know, you could probably go, here's the funny thing. I was doing videos back in 2007. You can go back to those videos in 2007, the classic Chris Perillo channel, and you could probably dig something up with me talking about it. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I've always believed that technology will become more pervasive, less invasive. We're, we're definitely tilting into that you know, era. And I think that's where we're going to be 10 years from now. Uh, I think the idea of the smartphone is going to start to disappear. Uh, and I really think that the idea of a wearable, much like uh, what uh, Magic Leap has been allegedly working on, as well as what Google had done with Glass, as well as what Apple may be doing, I think uh, integrating the, the computing experience seamlessly, or even to, the, to a large degree, the, the monstrosity of the, uh, the the Halo helmet. No, what is it called? Lens? HoloLens helmet that uh, Microsoft uh, is making. Um, it, it's going to get to the point where this is your smartphone. Why would you need to carry around this, this slab of glass to check notifications and scroll through Twitter when you can just you can just look over here and you say launch Twitter and then... It's going to look really weird walking around and seeing people do... <laughs> you know, uh, the only thing you couldn't do is selfies effectively, but you know, you'd be able to do everything else. And I think it's going to, the, this is going to start to disappear eventually. Eventually, this is going to go away. And I know that that's going to make some people upset because they, oh, you're going to take my smartphone away. Uh. They say the same thing about the PC. You know, it's, it's just that's how technology is going to go. It's going to become increasingly pervasive. And the way that is, my dream, and I, I, I've been saying this for decades too, my dream, no joke has been something so incredibly simple. I just want prescription lenses that have the time and the weather, just basic information, just floating out in the middle of nowhere. Date, time, weather, that's it. I don't need anything fancy. I just want just some basic information, man. That's what I want. That That's what I'm looking forward to. That's what I'm dreaming of. It, it'll happen. It'll happen. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. And I think in 10 years, it's, it's going to be uh, very much uh, 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 that. Uh, oh, Oscar. Hey, Oscar Frizzani Fawcett also sent a super chat. Uh, uh, Oscar, if you have a question, you let me know. Oh, hi, Chris, uh, from Port Slade, England. Love your videos, and you made me realize the deal with the iPhone 10. your knowledge is unparalleled. Thank you. I'm very honored that you would say that. Uh, just understand I'm very often tripping through the bushes myself. Uh, uh, I do my best to think through something to be able to form an opinion and to present it in a cogent capacity such that, you know, I, I there are certain videos I haven't done because I felt I've, I've even gone and recorded them. I've done like half hour videos. I'm like, this is that was horrible. I, I didn't I, I didn't even know what I was saying. And then like today's video, I started out with, you know, talking about, well, uh, you know, why is the iPhone receiving such a tepid response from the marketplace, allegedly, right? Now, no one wants to talk about the 8. They want to talk about the 10. But maybe there's deeper issues at play, and I went into it. And by the time I got to the end of the video, I quickly realized. I was like, you know, maybe Apple's throwing too much technology. Maybe it's technology we're not ready for. you got to watch the whole thing. Watch today's video if you haven't already in the, the Chris Perillo channel. Um, you know, it was... Uh, I, I felt that that was, that was a video I enjoyed doing because sometimes... I only learn more when I talk about it. I only learn more when I vocalize it or you know process it, and, and and I don't have an opportunity to do that often enough. Which is all the more reason why you know if you guys are re-energized and, and, and ready for this kind of stuff, I'd be you know more than happy to do it. Um, Christopher John asks, "Hey Chris, have you seen the new Star Wars Battlefront two trailer? I'm excited for it myself. Yes, I've I've seen bits and pieces. <laughs> I'm excited. Here's my plan, and I don't know how well it's going to work. So I have." You know, the, the, the Chris Perillo channel, and we'll do the little tech videos. Uh, we've got this channel, maybe for the long-form live stuff. 
uh, which I'm more than happy to do, and then potentially even uh, doing YouTube gaming in the Star Wars Radar channel, uh, and then doing Battlefront 2 over there in the Star Wars Radar channel. Uh, Star Wars Radar is a new handle that, that basically I picked up on Twitter. It's got 48,000 followers at Star Wars Radar. 48,000. It's, it's, it's all Star Wars all the time. Uh, so effectively, I'll be gaming Star Wars, talking geek talk with everybody live if I can, uh, and then, uh, or if y'all want to, and then doing the daily videos for the people that want a more condensed Chris Perillo. Uh, the, uh, the condensed variety being condensed... 20 minutes is a short time for me. <laughs> uh, James Pratt asks, Hey, Chris, my daughter is teething and very unsettled. Did Jedi go through anything similar? And if so, what tips? Uh, first of all, I love the question. Thank you. Uh, because I very, I, it's asked me anything. A, B, I am a daddy. Um, I'm trying to think of what we did. You know, we, we I think the, the best thing we found was the, the, they were like little chill packs. Like um, you can get these frozen... Uh, rings frozen plastic rings that you just stick in the, the refrigerator and then they they basically they they bite them because it's a cool sensation uh and that i think i think that was probably the best help that she got diana would probably be able to, to, to answer this in a little more depth than i could but that was i remember those like oh do i grab the ring and then i grab the ring and if she, seeing if she was teething um but uh, uh yeah it was it was that a cool i can't i don't know the name of them there's little just a little thing Great, these little godsends. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that we did. We didn't really use any. I can't. Rem I don't think we used any agents on it. Like some people would say, you put a little rum uh, on them. We never numbed. Uh, you know, numbed it for her. Uh, I uh, actually, I think the the way that we treated it, the way that Diana found that the best, the best thing for for Jedi in terms of responsiveness was, I think, it was children's ibuprofen. It was either ibuprofen or. Uh, Acetaminophen, it was one of the two where you could alternate because one process is through the kidneys, the other process is through the liver. Um, but I think that's what we used for Jedi that helped the most. So it's not exactly the most natural way of doing it, but it did, it, it, it seemed to, uh, it seemed to have helped. Cold food, um, you know, uh, or some, any kind of cold compress, kind of a little toy, it, uh, it worked out uh, pretty well. <clears throat> uh, scrolling for comments here. Uh, Iceman231 says, is anyone having an issue with the control center when turning off Wi-Fi and it doesn't turn off even though it's not highlighted? After so many betas and gym released, that problem is still there. So, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go into this too deeply, but uh, you could look it up. Effectively, the way uh, I, Apple's handling uh, the control center feature of Iowa uh, for uh, the, the radio uh, signals for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you'll toggle them off in the control center, but they're not actually off. They're kind of off. They're off-ish. Certain certain aspects of them turn off, but they're not off all the way. Uh, if you want to truly turn off Bluetooth and or Wi-Fi, you must do it through your settings. you got to go into the settings app and toggle them there. This is apparently by design. Apple doesn't want to break other uh, features or services like AirPlay or, or, or Handoff or any of those. And I'm not being specific. If those aren't the specific services, I'm just mentioning those as examples that might use those, you know, connectivity options. So they're doing that with intention. Uh, if you truly want Bluetooth and Wi-Fi disabled in iOS 11, as of right now, you must do it through settings. Thank you for, uh, thank you for, for bringing that up. I, I, I haven't had a chance to talk about it. I didn't want to do a full-on video about it because it wasn't a point. Uh, hey, Chris, my older sister just got one, uh, one of her cell phones back. It was the N-Gage by Nokia, like the first gaming cell phone from 2005, I think. Yeah, you know, I had a, on loan, I had a Nokia N95, N95? It had like a swivel screen out, and it, it the camera on it was just amazing. Like, it was amazing. Uh, I didn't switch to it. At that time, I was using Windows Mobile, and the Symbian OS was, was fine if I was still using it, but after using Windows Mobile at that time, or whatever they were calling it uh, at that time, at that, stage in the game um I, I couldn't switch to it i think it was a loner unit anyway but it was man that camera on it nokia did some pretty amazing stuff hell even web os was amazing we're only seeing that kind of come full circle uh with uh, what uh, that designer is doing uh, with uh, with google android at this time so it's it's really funny how everything old becomes new again <laughs> that's that's how it goes 
Uh, it's, it's it's funny, but many people don't don't realize or recognize where it used to be. Some people have only known smartphones. That's how old I am. Man. Uh, Oscar Ferranzi, Forzani Fawcett says, "What's the one Star Wars item you want in your collection?" Uh, man, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'd want. I, I, I'm very happy to be able to, to, to get what I'm able to pick up. You know, I'm able to do hauls for Star Wars Radar. I generally get the figures that I'm shooting for. I wish, honestly, if I had a choice, I wish I could go back and start recollecting from scratch. I think if I had one thing that I would like, I would love to have mint on card of the original Kenner uh, vintage uh, figure line. That That's not going to happen. It's, it's priced well out of my budget. Um, but that's, I think, the, the thing that I would look forward to uh, to... To, to getting again or even being able to go back and just start recollecting all the modern figures which i didn't do um i didn't get all of them uh, i've always been more of a figure fan than than anything so if i have anything in my collection those are the things that i'm, I'm happiest with any kind of figure don't know why couldn't tell you it's still to this day it's all and it's always been that way going all the way back to my first one it's always been that way <laughs> it's just, it's funny so that's a good question that's, there's a lot of good questions here but we're gonna start winding down um, if only because, uh, we're reaching the point where we're about an hour deep, so, uh, I don't want to stretch on too long, an hour's been long enough. Uh, Guillermo says, I can confirm, as Chris said, iOS 11, hey Guillermo, what's going on? And I, iPhone 8 Plus means huge lag. Wait until you, I, we'll see how the iPhone 10 will look. I'm not going to hold my breath, because uh, I know how iOS works, it may get fixed, but then they're going to break it again. So, eh, what are you going to do? Tony Yoon asks, what's your opinion with football players taking a knee? My opinion is that we've politicized sports. Uh, and I think Bob Costas said this better. Do you stand up at the beginning of a movie at the theater to pledge allegiance to the flag? Do you, Before every play, do you stand up and sing the national anthem? Before all these other entertainment events, do you do that? No. So then why is... Why? Why is sports somehow the exception to the rule? I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad. I think it's it's very honorable to do, but I think it's it's well within his right. I don't think it's disrespectful at all. Uh, you know, it's 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 in it's within his right. Now, if he was, <laughs> let's just say for argument's sake, he was just standing there like, grabbing his crotch, you know, like that'd be a little. I'm like, okay, I get it. You're protesting, but there's no wrong way to protest. It's a effectively you know if you're doing it in a peaceful capacity and it's a peaceful protest i i'm not he's he's got he's well within his rights and it, it was a very respectable uh, thing to do I, I i and i think that the flag itself you know is, is is honorable it belongs to everybody in this country everybody uh, not just the military and uh i wasn't expecting to get political thanks tony really appreciate that tony leave it to you well, hopefully y'all see that, see it the same way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and answer maybe one or two more questions. Uh, Oscar also asks, uh, Hey Chris, can you do a build of the new Millennium Falcon set? I would love to. We would need a, a few more Super Chats to come in for that to happen. <laughs> so, you know, uh, it, that's expensive. It's very expensive. But, you know, in... In comparison, would I would be would I be happier with the, if if I did have it came down to it uh, choosing between an iPhone eight or a new Lego Millennium Falcon? I'd probably get the Lego Millennium Falcon because it'll hold its value. Uh, it's expensive, but it's it's worth way more. Uh, it'd be a lot more fun too. Although if I got it, I'd keep it in the box. I wouldn't open it. No way, no way I'd open it uh, at all. Just couldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Yeah, and besides, it's very big. Where would I put it? I could, I barely, I don't have room for the things that I have now. Barely, I have to like constantly clean up and reorganize. I'm my my office is just littered. The reason why you haven't seen anything from any other angle is because everything's just like still out. All all the Force Friday stuff still got to get uh, put away. Uh, Vicky Gillen, who's been a supporter, says thank you. You are welcome. Uh, really appreciate uh, all the support y'all have have given. Uh, over time uh if you if you don't mind gonna go ahead and wind down uh, i gave everybody like the three minute five minute warning i uh, appreciate the tuning in uh if you're interested i'll do it again potentially tomorrow don't know about the time of day but we'll see 
I, I still plan on produ producing a video uh, tomorrow around uh, the, the returning of the iPhone 8, as I mentioned earlier in this broadcast. Uh, still doing videos in that channel, the ones that everyone wants to see. I'll still do the, the AMA type of videos here, if that's what everyone wants to see. And then uh, stay tuned to Star Wars Radar for Battlefront 2 gaming when that's released, because that's the thing I can't wait to see. Uh, so there's there's plenty to uh, plenty to be discovered. Thanks again for all the super chats, all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the follows. Uh, you know, you really uh, you've uh, you've really helped a lot. I love you. I appreciate you. And may the force. Oh wait, I'm gonna say it. May the force be with you. We'll e you later. <laughs>